Hey, what's up guys? Today we're talking Lightroom presets and how you can make your photos pop. Hey, what's up guys? Today we're talking Lightroom presets. Now, a lot of you have probably seen presets pack, like the one I have listed below in the description of this video. Presets are an awesome way that you can create amazing images with just a click of the button. Presets are basically like filters that you can put over the photographs that you create to create these stunning scenes with a bunch of edits in just one click of the button. But what they basically are is a way to develop like a personal style. Now, a lot of photographers make their presets pack to really visualize their creative style and what their style of photography is. So you might see landscape photographers have individual packs of landscape presets that they have for sale that create like amazing greens, waterfalls, sunsets, sunrises, all these different types of presets that you can use to create a special image just with one click. But you also have like portrait photographers who create theirs, like amazing freckles, deep black and whites, uh, amazing golden hours. All these go into creating a beautiful photograph. And they do this by creating a preset that they know will work with a certain situation. So let's take like the portrait example again. You can do an amazing golden light preset where you can point the camera at any situation of light and know that that preset is going to work. So you might label this like golden hour portrait and this is gonna come up as an amazing portrait image just based on the lighting situations that you have. Now lighting goes into a lot of the presets that are created, especially the ones that I've created that I have linked below, go into knowing what lighting situations play best. So if you have a lot of shadows in a situation, you might have like a portrait setting that increases the shadows or lifts the shadows up for you with just one click of a preset. Or if you're doing landscapes and you have a really nice waterfall with even light, you have an even light waterfall preset that you can click and know that that's a great starting point for any preset that you create. Now, it's very important to know that not every single photograph is going to look good with a preset. I've gone across photographs that I've taken that I think might work well with a preset, but just based on the saved settings that a preset has, you might hover over or click on that preset and you're just like, ugh, that looks terrible. Why would I ever include that on a top of a photograph? And then you start doubting your presets, you start doubting yourself as a photographer. That's not necessary. You have to go into presets knowing that there are some situations that just don't look good with the preset and you just have to make all the edits necessary for a typical photograph. Now, there are situations where you come across a preset or you come across a photograph that you think will look really bad with a preset and it ends up looking amazing or you take a preset from a different situation and you apply it to a photograph that makes no sense correlating. For example, I once took a Milky Way photograph and I used an underwater preset on top of that photograph. Those two do not go hand in hand, but using the preset for that, something just clicked in the settings that were used for underwater on top of the Milky Way photograph that made it so easy to edit this Milky Way photograph in just one click of the button. Now, presets are amazing tools, but again, they're starting points for you. Starting points in the sense that if you click on a preset, they're probably set to really emphasize that technique or look of the photograph. So you might spend time dialing down the effect that it creates. Maybe it has too much contrast and you have to move the contrast slider down a little bit more to get the look of that specific lighting situation that you photographed. Or maybe it's a little too golden for a situation. Maybe the sunset that day was a little more golden than it was previously when you made that preset and you just can't really correlate the two and you have to dial down the temperature 
back to a more cooler blue temperature to make the photograph really, really perfect. That's not saying presets are perfectly not useful because they are. They're a starting point and they give you an idea for what lighting situation that you need to use with your own photography. Now, presets are really interesting and I wanna show you how to use them best based on a few photographs that I've taken in the field recently that I've found using these presets is amazingly useful. So what I wanna do is throw it over into Lightroom and I wanna use the presets pack that I have linked below to show you exactly what they can do and to show you the benefits of using presets in your own photography to kind of speed up the editing process and kind of make you more visually attentive to what the light is doing that day so you can increase the quality of your photographs and become a better photographer through the post-processing process. That's a lot of processes going on, but enough processes. Let's start post-processing in Lightroom right now. All right, guys, I'm going to use some raw photographs here that I can use my presets pack on to show you exactly how to use these presets and show you how presets can benefit your own photography. So all you have to do is let's take this photograph, for example, um, really good photograph to start out with. Again, it's raw. So we're going to go over to the develop tab and Lightroom is going to load these like in your user presets when you bring them over. So they're going to be labeled on the left panel as you can see here uh, it's going to be at the very top of your left panel when you scroll down you'll be able to see the history of the photograph snapshots but presets are going to be right above that and as you scroll through these you can kind of see some of the looks that you may be going for and it's a good idea just to scroll through all of these whatever the label is so like a Milky Way basic adjustments or a Milky Way epic colors looks pretty good and you can see it in the preview uh, screen up on the top left portion of your Lightroom panel. So like Milky Way epic colors, that looks pretty good as an example of what I might be going for with this particular photograph. But I just wanna scroll through all these cause I think that outdoor deep blue skies is really the one that I'm gonna be going for based on the lighting that I have. Now I have lighting here that has a lot of blue sky right before sunset. You have golden light hitting the windmill right here. Um, and I think just deep blue skies is gonna be the one to go for, but I'm just gonna go through each one of these just to make sure that it's exactly what I want. Lush greens also looks really good, but I think deep blue skies is gonna be the winner. So I just click on that preset and it loads all of those settings. So basically what it did is added contrast, added highlights, decreased shadows, added whites, added clarity, vibrance, and saturation, and then specifically added blue saturations and blue luminance, and also a blue primary saturation increase as well. So all those settings were changed just on one click of the button, which makes this so easy to do. Now let's use another raw photograph that we may have from the same location, different lighting situations. So just moving around, you have different windmills that you can actually get to. So let's use this one, for example, a little bit down further. I have some nice color in the sky. This is a little bit later in the day. So I know based on the lighting that I have, I see some yellows in here. So what I think I'm gonna go for is outdoor golden sunset. But again, I'm gonna scroll through these just to see. Again, that Milky Way Epic Colors looks really cool in the preview, but I'm just gonna go through these a little bit more. Soft Sunset looks nice, but I think the Golden Sunset may be where I end up. Now, this is a good example of altering some things after you apply the preset to your photograph. So overall exposure is a little low. You can see in the histogram over here, it's down a little bit. That's based on the settings that I used and the lighting. The adjustment with the preset wasn't enough. So I'm just gonna increase that exposure based on this particular photograph, just enough to where I get the right light. The histogram looks good. And then I'm gonna click the cropping to adjust the horizon line to make that even across the photograph. And that looks pretty darn good if I do say so myself. 
So bang, that photograph is done. And all I had to do was spend a little bit of time searching through my presets to find the one that worked best. Again, not every photograph is gonna have a preset that works, but a lot of these photographs based on the lighting are gonna have really good opportunities too. With this preset pack, you have a lot of different changes that you can make, like general color boosts, uh, outdoor scenes, Milky Ways, and then portraits is really cool too. It's a good way to kind of take a portrait shot and then figure out what might work. So let's go back to my library here and find a good portrait to show you how you can use presets with a portrait. And let's use this photograph here of a maternal health visit in Haiti that I went on with my wife, who's a nurse midwife in Haiti. So we can go to the develop module uh, and find a good portrait preset that we can use for this. Now we have a lot of really good cracks over here that works good with contrast. That is going to work really well with intense freckles. I know it sounds really weird because she does not have any freckles on her face, but I think a good black and white high contrast would look really good because the black and white intense freckles preset really separates out the shadows and the highlights so we can click on that and bang that looks pretty cool for a black and white photograph i may just take the adjustment brush and paint in her skin tone a little bit more with some exposure bring the exposure up a little bit and bang i think i'm done with that photograph and all it took was one click of the preset and one adjustment of the adjustment brush to bring out the color in her face a little bit more this is an example of what presets can do for your photography what presets can do to speed up your post processing and a lot of times these presets are going to like make you think and make you believe in yourself as a photographer. And that's really important. You may take a photograph and not think it's that great, but then click on a preset that you download or create yourself and be like, wow, I cannot believe that I took that photograph. And it just takes a little bit of work with presets, a little bit of work in Lightroom to make you believe in yourself as a photographer and actually improve your overall photographs through the post-processing process. There's that word again, processes. And through presets, they're so beneficial to anyone looking at Lightroom and trying to figure out the edits that you need to make. I highly recommend getting presets. If you found this video helpful and you really liked it, go ahead and think about subscribing below by hitting the subscribe button or hit the thumbs up or comment below. We always like to have people commenting and seeing what they have to say about thoughts on our videos.